In this equation, we have ZnOH2 plus HCl, zinc hydroxide plus hydrochloric acid. Let's count the atoms up on each side. We have one zinc, and then oxygen. This two applies to everything in parentheses, so two times the one oxygen. Two oxygens. Hydrogens, two times the one, so we have two hydrogens, plus we have one hydrogen here. That gives us three hydrogens. Chlorines, we have one. On the product side, we have one zinc, one oxygen, two hydrogens, and two chlorines. Let's leave the oxygens and hydrogens. Let's do the chlorines first, because we could put a two in front of the HCl. Then we'd have one times two. That would fix the chlorines. But then we need to update our hydrogen atoms. So we have the one times the two here, two hydrogens, plus one times the two there. That gives us four hydrogens. If we were to put a 2 in front of the H2O as our coefficient, 2 times 2, that would balance the hydrogens. And 1 times 2, that would balance the oxygens, and we'd be done. This equation is balanced. People sometimes have problems with the parentheses. Remember that the 2 or whatever number goes to everything in the parentheses. And also, people forget sometimes they count these hydrogens and forget about this one here. So make sure you count all the hydrogens. This is Dr. B with the balance equation for zinc hydroxide plus hydrochloric acid. Thanks for watching.